How are we doing, ladies, gents, boys, and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Cocktails and Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a Manhattan, which is coming right up after this. Tom Dyer! Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how to make that Manhattan with some flair tricks to go with it. Ooh. So if you just wanna learn how to make a Manhattan, you can go straight and watch that straight away. Uh, but if you wanna learn how to make a Manhattan with some flair tricks along the way, stay tuned until the end so you can figure out all those tricks that you can use for yourself. Okay, step one, we're gonna get a coupe glass. You can use a martini glass or another style coupe glass. We wanna chill that glass. Boom, leave that to one side and then you're gonna get a mixing glass. You can use any other glass you've got uh, available and you're gonna put all your ingredients into there. And I'm using a, a large measure of whiskey. Uh, it's that much, that's two ounces for the Americans or 60 mils for Europeans or six CLs, okay? Uh, then we're gonna go half an ounce, that's 15 mils or 1.5 CLs of sweet vermouth and three dashes. There's small dashes, one more, of Angostura bitters, okay? Then you wanna give this a good old stir. And you wanna give this a good old stir. Diluting those flavors down so the, the booziness is not so harsh uh, on the tongue and on the taste buds. And you can stir it for as much or as little as you want, really. But you want to taste it along the way, like now. General rule of thumb, stir for 15 to 20 seconds, but it does depend on the type of ice you have, uh, how warm or cold it is in the room, and a lot of other factors. So that's why you can give it a taste, see if you like it, uh, and then you're good to go. So empty out the ice. Grab your julep strainer and you're gonna strain that directly into the coupe glass. Boom. We're gonna garnish with an orange peel. Let's tidy it up. I like the orange peel, but you can use a cherry if you want. You're just gonna spray that on top, give it a wipe around the glass. Boom, drop that in, and that is a Manhattan. Oh yes, I could drink those all day long. You may be wondering why I'm wearing this fabulous hat. It says Flare Camp. For those that don't know, have not seen, you go and check out flarecamp.com. We offer a week-long training from myself and some of the best flare bartenders and mixologists and bartenders in the world, which happens at the end of September this year. Plus, we are going on a world tour. That's correct. We are going around the world and we are taking Flare Camp to you. So you go and check out flarecamp.com forward slash world tour. You'll be able to find out all the dates and where we're going and who we're training with and we're training with some of the best people around the world. So go and check it out. Maybe, we come, maybe we're coming to a city near you um, and we hope to see you there. Anyway, back to the video. So I'm gonna show you the small routine to begin with and I'm gonna show you how to do the move on. Some of you that watch the channel may have seen some of those moves before. For those that are new here, I think you're gonna be able to pick up a lot of these moves pretty quickly. Start off with the glass. Now that was a simple glass twist. You place your hand out in front of you, you turn it upside down, so turn your thumb away from you, and you're gonna grab the glass in this position. You turn your hand over like this, and then you put your thumb under there. Then you turn your hand over again, 
and place it onto the bar top. Now there's a slight readjustment in my hand when I get to here. So if you watch my fingers, I come over and then they, my fingers come away from the glass and it makes it much easier for me to turn the glass over. So, boom, pop. Okay, with the next trick, I'm just gonna show you with a, a shaker to begin with, because they're very similar and you should practice with a shaker to start with. You're gonna hold the mixing glass or the shaker in what you'd hold a, a beer or a, or a glass normally, and you're gonna throw for one single rotation. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that to begin with, just throw without a rotation. So you're literally doing this. Then when you get better, you can throw it with one rotation, bump, bump, and onto the bar top. So, pop, pop. Cool. Okay, next was a hand stall uh, with the Glenmorangie. And the way we perform this move is, first of all, you need to figure out how to balance it. So you place the ball on your hand, on your knuckles, okay, in a comfortable position. And I use my thumb here as a guide to make sure it's not falling off. And you get used to balancing it. Then what you wanna do is start to develop the catch. So you're gonna drop the bottle onto your hand and you wanna lower your hand as the bottle drops and lands on your hand. Drop the bottle onto your hand, okay? And lower your hand to cushion that catch, okay? So you figure out the balance, then the catch, and then it's the throw. And you wanna get the bottle to come up flat so there's no spin on the bottle, okay? You can try and hold it from the body of the bottle if you feel more comfortable, uh, but as you get better, you're gonna grab the bottle from the speed rail by the neck. And as you throw it up, then you place your hand underneath and then you balance it on your hand. So straight up, boom, and balance. Then you can drop it down and make your pour. Or you can do the reverse pour, so you can drop it down and swing up, okay? And the way you do this is you're gonna grab the bottle in this way, then you're gonna drop your fingers down the bottle like this. Okay, twist over, make your pour, and then cut off. Right, the next move was with the jigger. So you're gonna pick up the jigger with the side that you need to use facing upwards. And you want this kind of hinge in between your fingers, your finger and your thumb, okay? And you're literally just doing a single spin with the jigger, okay? Uh, but you're gonna throw it over your arm. So as you pick up the vermouth, you're gonna throw it over, then you're gonna come and pour into the jigger and into the glass. So all one motion would be bottle, jigger, pour, boom. All right, next I did Angostura bitters. I just held it in a fancy way. Hand out, face, palm facing upwards. Grab it with the first finger and the middle finger. Then you just kind of close your fingers over it one and you make your dashes into the drink. All right, let's give it a stir. Okay, the next move was with the spoon. Uh, you want the index finger facing away, for, uh, pointing away, and the middle finger in front of you. You want it to grab hold of the spoon there. You want it kind of central almost, so you get that balance, okay? Now from this point, you're gonna twist around, 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 around. Now if you missed that, let me explain it to you. So from here, you turn your hand around, then you turn it upside down, then you twist it around, and then you get to here. But in all one big motion, okay, it, the, the spoon stays in between those two fingers, but you just twist. Starting this way up, turn, 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 turn. All right, the last trick was with the julep strainer, and it's very similar to the mixing glass trick. We're gonna pass it from this hand to this hand, but what you're doing is as you pick it up, okay, you're throwing it over your fingers, and you're grabbing it in the left hand, and you're gonna place it inside the mixing glass. Get rid of your ice and strain that bad boy out. All right, give it a garnish. <whistles> Boom. And that is how you make a Manhattan with flair. Still delicious. Thank you very, very much for watching, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think about this new format. Uh, for those new to the channel, please uh, consider subscribing because then you'll be notified every time I upload super cool videos like this one, especially if you click, click that little bell, bing, bing. And once again, thank you very, very much for watching until the end, I uh, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Until next time, I'll see you then.